Welcome to the 2020 Maria and Sam Miller Nursing Excellence Awards Ceremony. Tonight, we celebrate Cleveland Clinic nurses for your outstanding contributions to the profession. I'm honored to be with you virtually and offer sincere congratulations to our award recipients. Nurses like you represent the very best traits of our organization. This year especially, your dedication shines brighter than ever. Throughout the pandemic, you've stepped up to do what is right for patients and our communities. You're taking great care of each other as members of the Cleveland Clinic family. And when our colleagues in Abu Dhabi, New York and Detroit requested help, you answered the call. I will never forget the heroism of our nurses who offered their assistance. Thank you for your unique and healing touch. It is what the year of the nurse and midwife is meant to recognize. As Cleveland Clinic embarks on its centennial anniversary, I could not be more proud to work alongside each of you. You're showcasing how nursing has been a pivotal part of the organization since our inception. There are many who salute you this evening. And if he were still with us, I know that the late Sam Miller would be the first in line. As a longtime member of Cleveland Clinic's Board of Directors, Sam held a special place in his heart for nurses and greatly appreciated your critical role in patient care. The Samuel H. and Maria Miller Foundation generously endowed this awards program in 2012. Someone else who knows the skill and compassion of our nurses is Dr. Kelly Hancock, our newly appointed Chief Caregiver Officer. Kelly's support and strategic guidance encourages caregivers like each of you to be the best they can be. Kelly, we thank you and look forward to your continued leadership at Cleveland Clinic. Without further ado, I know how excited she is to address all of you. Kelly, the floor is yours. Thank you, Tom, for that incredibly warm welcome. You are absolutely correct that I'm bursting with both excitement and pride for our 2020 Nursing Excellence Award recipients. Every year, this prestigious celebration gives me chills and leaves me in great astonishment. And this year, even though we had to adjust our traditional ceremony setting, it will be no different. In fact, this year, I think our award ceremony is even more meaningful. First, it's our year, nurses. As Dr. Mihalovich alluded, this landmark year of the nurse and midwife has again and again revealed the true essence of the nursing profession in ways we couldn't imagine at the start of the calendar year. In all of my nursing experience, I don't think I've ever seen such adversity, such poise, such dedication, or such selflessness. The way our nurses have risen to the challenges we've faced and truly gone above and beyond the call to duty has been nothing short of remarkable. And even more amazing is each of you, our Nursing Excellence Award recipients. You haven't just gone above and beyond, you have launched yourselves into another galaxy where you are shining brighter than all the rest. Your professional excellence is lighting the way for our organization's forward movements, for our patients, and for your colleagues, including the nurses, physicians, and other caregivers who nominated you for the awards you are receiving tonight. Your esteemed recognition at this very moment in time, during this spectacular year of the nurse, and in this season of a global pandemic will go down in history. I am in awe at each of you, and I am grateful for your giving hearts, your serving nature, and your promise that above all else, and no matter what comes your way, you will put patients first and be the absolute best nurse that you can be. You are impeccable examples of inspiration, and I can't wait to share your stories this evening. Before we do, I would just like to quickly recognize and thank the planning committee and the event team who worked diligently to coordinate and produce our virtual ceremony. I greatly appreciate your efforts to make this a special and memorable evening for our award recipients. Also, I want to echo what Dr. Mihalovich said about Sam and Maria Miller. For so many years, the Millers have been two of Cleveland Clinic's greatest supporters, especially for nursing, and we are forever grateful. 
Mr. Miller always referred to nurses as angels, and if I had to guess, I'd say he's watching over us and has proudly earned his own angel wings. To each of our honored nurses this evening, I hope you know how deeply appreciated, respected, and valued you are. Congratulations again, and enjoy the ceremony. You kind of encounter nurses everywhere, um, all, all throughout your experiences uh, at the Cleveland Clinic. They're great. I mean, you, you have an entire care team that works with you, but the nurses are great at letting you know what you can expect. There are a lot of questions that you ask, and sometimes you just, you're a little too scared to ask your doctor, and your nurse is the person there that you can ask those questions to, and they will give you the actual real details of things that they see every day. How you can expect to feel and things you can do to make yourself feel better. And they do a great job of connecting with you, which is something that I've had here that I haven't had at other places. We begin tonight's award recognition with the Samuel H. Miller Art of Nursing Award, presented in appreciation of clinical nurses who promote and support healing for patients, families, and colleagues with compassion and empathy. This year's honorees are Nancy Alonzo, Cleveland Clinic Martin Health. For the past 18 years, Nancy has served as a home care clinical nurse to new mothers and found every day to be rewarding. Nancy retired this year after a 43-year nursing career. Thank you for all your years of service. Krista Bradley, Euclid Hospital. Krista is passionate about behavioral medicine and believes no day is ever the same. She feels rewarded by seeing patients' mood and behavior enhanced during their stay. Fran Campion-Smith, Cleveland Clinic London. A nurse for 43 years, Fran has extensive experience with inpatient safety, nurse satisfaction, recruitment, and retention. She recently joined Cleveland Clinic London as nurse director for acute and ambulatory care. Tammy Dill, Fairview Hospital. Tammy has worked as an RN for 30 years and is currently the assistant nurse manager in the adult emergency department. She thrives in a mixture of clinical and administrative responsibilities and strives to advocate for clinical nurses. Marleni Durango, Cleveland Clinic, Florida Weston. A nurse for nine years, Marleni has worked for the past two and a half years as a clinical and charge nurse. Her colleagues appreciate her compassion, care, and advocacy for her patients. Anne Inverso, Union Hospital. Anne, a veteran nurse of 36 years, has worked as a clinical nurse in the PACU. Her vast experience includes nursing in step-down, intensive care, and post-anesthesia care units, as well as serving as a float nurse. Mohamed Kolelat, Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. A nurse for 12 years, Mohamed worked as a teletriage nurse before joining the primary care unit in the outpatient clinic two years ago where he serves as a clinical nurse and shift leader. He enjoys mentoring new nurses and helping patients understand their disease process and plan of care. Cindy Maloney, Cleveland Clinic Indian River Hospital. With 40 years of nursing experience, Cindy returned to oncology care 19 years ago when she joined Indian River. She's been instrumental in helping nurses have a voice in the workplace and advocating for quality patient care. Donna Mazzarella, Cleveland Clinic Family Health Centers. With over 38 years experience, Donna has worked in ICU and post-anesthesia care units, and more recently in plastic surgery. She feels her patients have shaped the nurse she is today. Jamie Palencik, South Point Hospital. With 13 years of experience at South Point, Jamie is a clinical nurse in the ICU. She's also a clinical instructor and likes to teach her students not to look at what's written on the surface, but to know your patient as a person. Lee Perez, Lutheran Hospital. With 10 years of nursing service, Lee is proud to serve as a magnet ambassador for her unit and to have received several awards, including outstanding clinical support and nursing excellence. Amy Pownell, Cleveland Clinic Akron General. Amy is a skin care resource nurse and serves as co-chair of her unit-based council. She also helped pilot and implement in the delirium elderly at-risk instruction in Akron General Hospital. 
Chris Rohde, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. With 25 years in nursing, Chris is proud to have served at Cleveland Clinic her entire career. For the past 13 years, she has served as a CMET dedicated rapid response and code blue clinical nurse at Main Campus. Ashley Rogaliner, Marymount Hospital. Ashley joined Marymount as a clinical nurse on a med surge unit for two and a half years. She's a skin and bloodborne pathogen champion. Stephanie Smith, Cleveland Clinic, Main Campus. Stephanie has been a clinical nurse in the medical ICU for more than a decade. She's also co-facilitated the Magnus course and led several quality improvement projects and created the Lavender Lounge. Diana Steen, Ashtabula County Medical Center. With 21 years experience as a nurse, Diana worked in OB for 24 years and two years ago transferred to endoscopy. She serves on the medical center's shared governance committee and is proud to have inspired others to become a nurse. Lisa Story, Hillcrest Hospital. Lisa has 37 years of experience in pediatrics. In addition, she has served as an Operation Smile post-op nurse in Honduras and provided pediatric health screenings and education in Nicaragua. Lori Wardsnarowski, Medina Hospital. Lori began her career at Cleveland Clinic as a nursing student 28 years ago. Today, she's a certified ambulatory peri-anesthesia nurse and has successfully encouraged fellow nurses to earn their certification. Sharon Zagorski, Avon Hospital. Sharon has been a nurse for 33 years and has cared for nearly 800,000 patients. She worked in rehabilitation, was the director of nursing at O'Neill Healthcare in North Olmsted, and is now a clinical nurse in Avon Hospital's Rapid Observation Unit. Congratulations to all of our Samuel H. Miller Art of Nursing Award recipients. Your compassion and empathy is a true testament to putting patients first. Everybody's got so much to do, everybody's focused on their work, but the nurses not only do their job so wonderfully, but they bring so much kindness, so much compassion, not just to patients, but to, for me as, as, a, as a doctor. You can learn as much as you want from a textbook and med school, but when it comes to having the right mindset and heart, I think I, I didn't get that from anywhere else except through the kindness of nurses, and not just one or two, but all of them. And uh, yeah, and I think they make our life as doctors so much easier. We couldn't do what we do without them, without a doubt, without a doubt. The next set of awards honor the foundation of our institute and are presented to those exhibiting the behaviors demonstrated in our professional practice model. The Professional Practice Model Award for a Healing Environment is presented in recognition of clinical nurses who have significantly contributed to the promotion and support of healing environments for patients, families, and colleagues. This year's honorees are... Sarah Cady, Union Hospital. Sarah began her 15 years of service in pediatrics. Now a labor and delivery nurse, she loves being a part of one of the most important events for her patients, welcoming their child into the world. Heather Percival, Lutheran Hospital. Heather always knew she wanted a career helping others. As a clinical nurse on a medical surgical unit, she serves as geriatric resource nurse and certified vascular access resource nurse. Thank you, Sarah and Heather, for your commitment to providing a healing environment for those you care for. The Professional Practice Model Award for Professional Development and Education is presented in recognition of nurses committed to professional development and advancing the education of patients, families, communities, and colleagues. The 2020 honorees are Barb Semrock, Fairview Hospital. With 41 years in nursing, Barb worked in oncology until she joined the Fairview Birthing Center. She's now a nursing professional development specialist. Lindsay Smith, Cleveland Clinic Martin Health. Lindsay began her career in critical care before joining Cleveland Clinic Martin Health's Clinical Education and Development Department. Thank you, Barb and Lindsay, for your dedication to professional development and education. The Professional Practice Model Award for Quality and Patient Safety is presented in recognition of nurses who are deeply committed to quality care and patient safety. This year's honorees are 
Ann Fitz, Lutheran Hospital. Ann began her 39 years of service working many specialties, including oncology, hospice, and developmental disabilities. She now serves as Nursing Quality Program Manager at Lutheran Hospital. Megan Platzer, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. Megan decided to become a nurse after the birth of her first child. She worked as a clinical nurse for 16 years and recently became a PICC line nurse in the Imaging Institute at Main Campus. Thank you, Anne and Megan, for your attention to quality care and patient safety. The Professional Practice Model Award for Promotion of Evidence-Based Practice and Research is presented in recognition of nurses dedicated to the promotion of evidence-based practice and nursing research. This year's honorees are Melissa Meek, Cleveland Clinic Akron General. With 32 years of service, Melissa has served the past five years as a psychiatry behavioral health clinical nurse. She takes great satisfaction in helping patients through difficult times. Giselle Tapper, Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. With 25 years of service, Giselle has served as a staff nurse and clinical instructor prior to becoming a program manager for policies and evidence-based practice. Thank you, Melissa and Giselle, for leading by example in promoting evidence-based practice and nursing research. Congratulations to all of our 2020 Professional Practice Model Award recipients. A good nurse should be someone that is patient, uh, understanding, kind, and has the ability to relate to different people regardless of where they come from. I think that nurses have the ability to simplify things in such a way so that the patient understands what's about to take place. They make you feel secure. They make you feel like no matter what the outcome is of your medical situation, you know, it's going to be okay. You're going to have support to get you through it. The Nancy M. Albert Nursing Research Excellence Award is presented in recognition of research excellence, recognizing one nurse annually who raises awareness of the value of evidence-based practices that result from nursing research and encouraging nurses to think innovatively, develop research questions, conduct research, disseminate findings, and translate them into practice. The 2020 Nancy M. Albert Nursing Research Excellence Award honoree is Jeanette Mazzola, Beechwood Family Health and Surgery Center. A nurse practitioner in the Cancer Center, Jeanette has presented oncology nursing grand rounds twice and recently completed a research project for publication. The project focused on women with breast cancer treated with chemotherapy. Jeanette continues to be inspired by the courage, strength, and trust of her patients. Thank you, Jeanette, for your commitment to evidence-based care and congratulations on being this year's Nancy M. Albert Nursing Research Excellence Award recipient. Our next award of the evening is the Carolyn Neiman APRN Excellence Award. This award is presented in recognition of excellence in clinical care, support and promotion of the APRN role, and interdisciplinary collaboration. The 2020 honorees are Megan Baker, Cleveland Clinic Akron General. Megan is an integral part of the Skin Care Resource Nursing Program, leading monthly meetings, developing educational resources, and educating skin care resource nurses. Debbie Klein, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. With 43 years in nursing, Debbie has worked as a clinical nurse specialist in the coronary ICU and heart failure ICU on Main Campus, and has more than 50 published works. Congratulations to Megan and Debbie, this year's Carolyn Neiman APRN Excellence Award recipients, and thank you for your service. Cleveland Clinic was founded on the um, premise that we want to act as a unit, and I believe that the nurses play an integral role there. They're the ones who are at the bedsides. They're the ones that communicate with us and let us know if a patient is in uh, need of uh, immediate assistance um, or they can tell us, take your time, you know, this patient's doing fine, I've got it under control. They're the heart and the soul, as I mentioned, of the Cleveland Clinic Foundation. They're the ones that uh, really enable us to do our jobs. We feel that we're 
all very, very busy most of the time. We feel that we uh, sometimes don't pay enough attention to our patients, but knowing that we have the nurses there, I think is a, uh, is a gift. And it's a gift that uh, providers, uh, the, the physician staff certainly, um, is lucky to have. Our final awards for the evening are the Lifetime Achievement Awards, presented to nurses in recognition of a career that has demonstrated exceptional achievement in advancing nursing practice, improving patient outcomes, enhancing work environments, and promoting multidisciplinary teamwork. This year's Lifetime Achievement honorees are Christine Adams, 28-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic. A visionary leader within nursing care management and ambulatory services, Christine directed the expansion of high acuity nursing care beyond the inpatient setting and into patients' homes, redefining the nursing home care department. She also led Fairview Hospital to two successful magnet designations. Christine's knowledge and dedication consistently help fuel the mission of the Nursing Institute. Therese Balmer, 20-year nursing career, Fairview Hospital. Working on the lactation team in both the inpatient and outpatient setting, Therese brings extensive experience to new mothers and their babies. Through the years, she's worked in postpartum nursing and couplet care and provided home care after discharge. With a kind and professional demeanor, Therese is an exemplary listener and communicator who always brings compassion and support to those she cares for. Janie Burke, 32-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. A dedicated and compassionate leader, Janie serves as the clinical nursing director of Cleveland Clinic Children's. She's published research that has led to changes in the dress code for pediatric nursing, bringing color back to the uniforms. And she's facilitated the expansion of child life services to help support children of adult patients across the enterprise. Rebecca Cunningham, 44-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. Working numerous roles in cardiology, Rebecca has assisted with cutting-edge technology and research initiatives to improve patient care. A dedicated leader that has helped fuel the culture, quality, and excellence of the Nursing Institute, she's also taken nursing care and compassion into our neighborhoods to improve the health and well-being of our community. Judith Drew, 30-year nursing career, Euclid Hospital. Known for her knowledge and compassion, Judith serves as an advocate to improve patient outcomes. She's dedicated to reducing hospital-acquired pressure injuries. She's also an active member of the unit-based Shared Governance Council and Night Shift Council, working to create efficiencies and improve the caregiver experience of her colleagues. Jennifer Kaminar, 19-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic, Akron General. A self-starter that believes in teamwork, Jennifer is a clinical nurse in the Transitional Care Unit. She is an advocate for patient safety and quality, and in 2016, earned the Cameo of Caring Award. Jennifer also serves as a mentor to new nurses and collaborates with physicians, technicians, nursing management, and others to provide the best possible care to patients. Kelly King, 38-year nursing career, Fairview Hospital. Working as a clinical nurse in invasive cardiology for the past 15 years, Kelly is committed to lifelong learning and recently earned her MSN. She also became certified as an adult gerontology primary care nurse practitioner. Believing that together we make a difference, Kelly has made significant contributions to shape the environment of nursing 
to one that's driven by evidence-based care. Mary Beth Modick, 44-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. Known as an advocate and educator, Mary Beth is a leader in diabetes care. She authored a comprehensive diabetes self-management curriculum and developed an assessment tool now used at more than 30 medical centers across the U.S. An advocate for the nursing profession, Mary Beth co-created the first Perceptor program and is equally committed to patient education. She's recognized for her innovative and outstanding contributions, especially her guidance, education, and mentoring of others. Kelly Picciarini, 38-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic Martin Health. With teamwork at the center of her practice, Kelly's strong work ethic, driven by her knowledge and commitment to excellence, inspires others to seek ways to improve patient care and outcomes. Known as an expert at starting IVs, she's enhanced the quality of patient care while also serving as a role model. Kelly precepts new nurses and mentors many nurses in the cardiovascular ICU. Janet Peer, 35-year nursing career, Fairview Hospital. As Director of Quality, Janet's calm demeanor, professionalism, and experience drives high-quality outcomes and fosters collaboration. Her incredible knowledge of detailed metrics for enterprise-wide quality goals consistently improves the quality and safety of patient care. Veronica Sumodi, 56-year nursing career, Hillcrest Hospital. Veronica is a quiet force that drives exceptional care for patients with chronic conditions. Throughout her career, she's published numerous journal articles on congestive heart failure and chronic care clinics and has mentored countless nurses and APRN students. For the past 10 years, Veronica has worked as a chronic care data manager, serving as a clinical expert and reviewing data for chronic care departments. She retired earlier this year. We thank you, Veronica, for your 56 years of service. Susan Sanislow, 28-year nursing career, Marymount Hospital. With a positive and genuine demeanor, Susan currently serves as the charge nurse on the medical peritoneal dialysis unit. She drives collaboration between the care team and the patient to help improve quality and outcomes. Susan is also committed to evidence-based practice and open communication with patients and families to help empower them to live their best lives. Congratulations to all of our Lifetime Achievement Award recipients, and thank you for your astonishing combined 1,150 years of service in nursing. I was a firefighter paramedic for years, and it didn't take me but one day to realize that uh, the doctors are very good, they're very knowledgeable, but for the hands-on, immediate concern, the nurses <laughs> were the ones to go to. They knew it uh, backwards and forwards. So that was always stuck in my mind. That was 40 years ago. Uh, and to this day, I feel the same way. The nurses uh, really know their stuff and uh, are well prepared. And I've had a couple episodes where it was an emergency, uh, reactions to chemotherapy, and the nurses were right on it uh, within minutes. Uh, it made a difference. 
The high quality, safe care you've provided patients and families has not gone unnoticed. Joining us now to share his thoughts and appreciations is a member of the Board of Trustees at Cleveland Clinic Medina Hospital, Mr. Robert Bucks. Thank you for the kind invitation to attend these awards of excellence. To the recipients, please accept my congratulations on your awards. At the Gettysburg National Cemetery dedication in 1863, Edward Everett was the first speaker and spoke for two hours. The final speaker of the day was President Abraham Lincoln, who spoke for only two minutes, delivering his now famous Gettysburg Address. I want to assure all of you in attendance that I will speak for less than three minutes, not two hours. I am Robert Bucks. I'm an attorney from the small town of Medina and a member of the Board of Trustees of Medina Hospital. Medina Hospital is personal to me. It is my hospital. A member of my firm helped found the hospital in 1942. In 2009, when the Medina Hospital affiliated with the Cleveland Clinic, the entire enterprise became my hospital and the entire enterprise is personal to me. The achievements of the enterprise as a whole and its high national ranking are based on these same principles. Patients first, the preeminence of patient safety, the quality of outcomes often in the most severe presentations, education and development of our caregivers, and innovation in practice and research. I have first-hand knowledge of the excellence of the enterprise nurses. My wife experienced tender care following breast surgery in the cryo building. I spent the night on a bedside chair with my sister in the cardiac intensive care unit of the main campus, watching the speed and skill of the nurses, knowing that that work was a matter of life and death that night. I stayed in the ICU when my younger brother passed from end-stage congestive heart failure and witnessed the care and compassion of those nurses for whom this was an everyday event. The exceptional award winners tonight blazed the trail and set the standard for all of their colleagues and the enterprise as a whole. You shape the future of nursing. In the United States, there are 2,860,000 registered nurses in 6,210 hospitals. In the number two hospital in the nation, you are the best of the best. I thank you for all you do for the Cleveland Clinic, for our patients, for our communities, and for my family. Thank you and congratulations. This has been a wonderful celebration. As I reflect on the award recipients we've honored, I am amazed at the various aspects of professional contribution. You have all rightfully achieved a level of professional excellence that is nothing short of inspiring. And if there's one common denominator among you, it's your undeniable commitment to the profession of nursing and to Cleveland Clinic. Patients and their families come to us because of nurses like you, those who put our professional practice model into action each and every day. They rely on safe, quality, expert, and compassionate care you provide. You have shown us that excellent nurses will not settle for the status quo. Your innovative ideas promote quality and safety for all, including your fellow caregivers. As an organization, our goals around safety and quality include being the best place to receive care and the best place to work, and your efforts support our goals to meet our established metrics. Thank you for the superior service you provide. Greetings from London. I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to each of you for your contributions to the professional practice and development of nursing. Nursing is an international profession dedicated to the delivery of compassionate, patient-centered care. Your contributions are directly influencing the future of our great profession, bridging the gap between countries and creating professional agendas of change. I am touched by the impact of your work and how it positioned Cleveland Clinic as a global leader in healthcare transformation. Internationally, you are making a difference. Thank you. Nurses have so much to contribute as it pertains to patient care. The value we place on research, innovation, and evidence-based practice has resulted in a professional practice model that supports us on our quest to find new and exciting ways to provide care in today's ever-evolving healthcare environment. Your contributions to the body of evidence supports our drive to excellence and what it means to be a Cleveland Clinic nurse. 
Thank you for your courage to push the boundaries, for your tenacity, and for always looking for a better way. And thank you for always putting our patients first. In this year of the nurse and midwife, and during this unprecedented global pandemic, never before has the professional nurse had a more vital role as a leader in healthcare. In every setting, nurses offer holistic expertise, both clinically and through relationship-based care. You were chosen by your peers because you stood out as creative thinkers and trailblazers who exemplify the professional practice model at every level. As I think back through the many years I have been a nurse, I have never been more proud than I am right now of caregivers like you. You are paving the way to an even brighter future for the role of the nurse. Thank you. You're a special person to be a nurse. And when they choose that profession, they have found a way to keep many people well and happy. Thank you for all of your hard work, your dedication, your patience, and for everything that you do here day in and day out. If it wasn't for nurses, I wouldn't be here. There's so many things that has happened to me that nurses really fixed me up and kept me alive. I don't think I could do my job without, without the nurses in our, in our department. You are our most important advocate for our patients. I felt safe and comfortable. Everyone was caring and professional. And I just want to say thank you for all you do. You do a great job. And without you, um, these hospitals, I don't think they would be able to run without you. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your courage, for your leadership, and most of all, for your teamwork and helping us deliver the best care possible to all of our patients. Thank you. This has been the 2020 Maria and Sam Miller Nursing Excellence Award Ceremony. Thank you for watching and congratulations to all of tonight's remarkable honorees.